Toothbrush. <laughs> it's the Incisor 3000. It has a micro polisher, toothpaste dispenser, and 10 gum massage speeds for my brushing pleasure. <sighs> well, does it have a built in fan? This heat wave is sapping my energy. <sighs> Speaking of sapping energy, why do you need an electric toothbrush? Have you seen my teeth? It was either this or a floor polisher. when I saw an iceberg go by in the bay. With him in it. I couldn't just let a 10,000-year-old mammoth float away. Plus, it's really cool. But where are you going to keep it? Under your bed? I'll get Jig to build a freezer for it. But uh, where, oh, where can I keep it till then? Huh? <gasps> <gasps> okay. You can keep it in my walk-in freezer. <sighs> Baby seal look gets me every time. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Isn't it amazing? A real woolly mammoth. Oh, I've got the chills. And they're multiplying. Maybe that's because you're leaning on the freezer. Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I got something cool today, too. A new toothbrush. Oh, I'll tell you, it has some great features. <laughs> That's not one of them. Move it, move it, hit, hit, move it! This is just uncivilized. I was watching the Bayou Gourmet. Now I'll never know his secret spice. At least you don't have a freezer full of runny ice cream. There is also the teensy problem of having no power for hot showers. Ugh. Better put deodorant on sale. Mm. Don't look at me. I just showered this morning. <laughs> I demand to know who's responsible. <laughs> um, uh, I think it was, um, uh, him. <gasps> oh, sure. Blame the scapegoat. Actually, blame all of us. When there's a heat wave, we use a lot of power to keep cool. Sometimes, like today, we just run out. Which is why I propose, instead of relying on the city power plant, we could make our own power from sunshine and wind. I have read that tourists will pay more to stay in places that are only powered by renewable energy sources. All in favor of making our own electricity? Aye! than when I rode the Tilt-A-Whirl at Queasyland. <laughs> yeah, we'll be running entirely on green energy. Four people? Lovely. See you tomorrow. Uh, hi, Stu. Do you need help building that water wheel I suggested? Uh, I haven't gotten around to it. 
First, what do you think of the new sign for my eco-friendly resort? It's a very nice sign, but about the water wheel. Actually, I thought of a better way to contribute to your project. But it's a surprise. So why don't you go bother, oh, I mean help, someone else. Wow, look at all these solar panels. Just trying to do my part, and I discovered a little extra bonus. Solar fried organic blueberry pancakes, anyone? Oh, me, I'll get the syrup. Whoa. Anyone smell something burning? It traps all the stinky gas from my compost pile and funnels it into a generator to make electricity. It uses our smelly leftovers to make power. <laughs> Speaking of leftovers, I can't possibly finish these pancakes. Wait! <laughs> The pressure builds up a bit. You don't say. <gasps> How's that? A little more to the left, please. What a fun way to make electricity. Oh, plus, I'm getting into shape for the big toe triathlon. Jiggers, even more to the left. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Jig. No problem. Ow. Ow. Took a lot of hard work, plenty of blood, sweat, and tears. Concussions, chafing, third degree burns. And since Stu generously donated the land for this power station, I'll let him do the honors. <clears throat> it is my great pleasure to declare the Catfish Stew Commemorative Electro Shack officially open! <laughs> I guess you can finally start building that mammoth freezer. <laughs> I didn't do it. Hey! My show I just went cold! Hey! Where's all our power? I have a pretty good idea. Excuse me, are you sure this place is eco-friendly? All this, it just seems kind of excessive. Just relax, have fun! Everybody, limbo! Stu? <laughs> What's the big idea? Hey, no riffraff, this is a private resort. What do you want? We want to know why you're running a carnival while we sit in the dark. I needed more power, so I went to my power station and shut off the other switches. Your power station? Of course. It's on my land, built by my ferrets, which makes it mine, all mine. <laughs> we didn't make more electricity just for you. We all need it. That's right. And we're going to go turn the juice back on. Knock yourselves out. And I mean that literally, since I put an electric fence around the shed. Oh, that is it. He is going down. But how can we shut him down if we can't get to the power switches? I know a way. <laughs> Why don't you? <laughs> really? <laughs> you mean it? Time to brush. You fried my power meter! Now what am I supposed to do? You can give us our money back because we're leaving. What? 
Bob, we were having such fun! Fun? <laughs> we have frostbite from the air conditioning, headaches from your loud music, and my cubs aren't safe in that pool. We demand a refund. Sorry, but check your contract. There's a no refunds clause. What was that about clause? <laughs> One refund coming up. Let's go turn the juice back on. Yeah. What about me? You can't just leave me in the dark. Good point. Here, catch. <laughs> Are you sure about this? I thought you wanted to display them in town. I know, but I was thinking about all the power Stu was wasting, and I decided that keeping this guy in a freezer would be wasteful, too. After all, Mother Nature kept him frozen up here for 10,000 years with no electricity at all. <laughs> hey, I wonder how Stu's managing while his power's out. Hurry up and fix it, you flea bags! I'm getting tired! Man, the sight creates be a really great gumbo. Ah, not again! <laughs> the secret spice! The secret spice! I'll never find out what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> 